Hello guys, this is the new soundbar from Samsung Q990B, flagship from the, for this year, Q990B, 2022 model, Dolby Atmos BTX-X wireless systems. We're gonna do the unboxing and we're gonna check it in all aspects. So here is the soundbar with the subwoofer, the two surround speakers and the bar itself. So the channels here are 11, we're going to examine, we're going to count every channel to see if they are uh, saying the truth. It's 11.1 the subwoofer, 0.4 the Dolby Atmos, four Dolby Atmos speakers, drivers that are firing up to the ceiling. This is the remote control as you can see here of the sound bar settings, woofer, surround mode. But the best thing, uh, Bluetooth pairing, but the best thing is to download the SmartThings app from Samsung that provides everything there. This is one of the surround rear speakers. As, as you can see, we have one driver here, one here, two drivers, drivers and one up to the top to, that fires up to the ceiling. So it's quite heavy, it's active. Okay, we need the power in order to drive it and then to connect it with the sound bar. It's two, three channels here, the grill, it feels like metallic. Uh, it feels very heavy uh, from the other side as well, the speaker. So we have two of these that are coming inside the box. On the back of the sound bar, we can see there are three HDMI inputs. Probably there are two inputs and one uh, uh, eARC. The cable that uh, Samsung provides is this one, like a corner here, angle, 90 degrees. So if you use it uh, there to leave no problems on the installation. TV to fit the sound bar from my, our TV with uh, audio music or cinema, whatever uh, content we have. And then we have two HDMI inputs one to connect our uh, game console, for example, or our DVD player, uh, or Blu-ray player, whatever we have. In a separate uh, compartment, we have the optical input for those that they like to use the optical uh, connection. And here we have the subwoofer, which is quite heavy. In front we see this uh, surface here that is placed in front of the woofer of the driver that it's doing some, um, some work, this one, uh, this, uh, spreads the sound around uh, the low frequencies and uh, I don't know what exactly Samsung is doing here, but this is a special innovation for subwoofer. And here we have the port that the base needs to be out there. The port is here and the thing that I have noticed with this subwoofer, it's how heavy it is it's very heavy guys it's a very big one of the heaviest subwoofer that comes with a sound bar i think so in total the system has 22 drivers speakers it's 11.1.4 as we said so the subwoofer we said it's 11.7 kilos the subwoofer the sound bar itself is 7.7 kilos 3.4 kilos each one of these uh, surround speakers and the subwoofer as we said it's 11.7 kilos so it's very heavy system guys one of the best this year 2022 it's the samsung hw 2990b b means the year 2022 after so many screws you see how many i lost the, to count, the count we finally reached the inside world of the soundbar. Here we see the board with the processor and the glass deamplification. So we have two major processors with a heat sink on it, on, the, on, on them. Other processor here, memories here, there. Digital uh, amplification and underneath there is another board with extra components probably here is hiding the glass deamplification because this uh, sound bar contains around 
15 drivers. We see the board here. So this part here is the switcher for inputs and outputs. So we see the HDMI's. Then there is this uh, chassis that holds the power amplification in its place. This is the power amplification, class D. The power supply, this is the power supply because here we, we put the mains and then here is the power supply because this sound bar needs a, a lot of energy to work. Part of this is the wireless connection, here is one part, probably the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi system is here. Then we have the Atmos driver, which is this one, the Atmos driver is this one, firing up. You, you see the cables here that are going to the side speakers here, there are two, you see them, inverted dome, the same, special cabinet for them, it's not a mix of cabinet. And the Dolby Atmos uh, speaker here, it has a special cabinet as well because when you, we close the sound bar, we cover this, so it's a different uh, enclosure, let's say. Here we have a special treatment with this white uh, foam for uh, to reduce the vibrations and to isolate uh, the compartments inside the sound bar. In front we have one tweeter here two race track drivers with this kind of magnets, you see, one side. In the center we have the same race track drivers, one, two, and one tweeter in, in the center, between the, in between the, these two race track drivers. And on the other side, the same configuration repeats, I mean the tweeter is outside, and then we have two race track drivers in, towards the center, so they are three channels in front and then we have one channel for Atmos second, second channel for Atmos so three we count five channels and then we have probably, probably these are two independent channels with two drivers one two from one side and the, the same configuration repeats here so we have uh, about uh, let me count we have nine channels but you see the front channels are very powerful they consist of two racetrack drivers and one tweeter per channel these three front channels one channel this is one channel guys here you can see it better one two drivers and the tweeter so this is one channel but on the side we have two channels like this both sides and the atmos isolated in their own cabinet. The cables are very well treated. The electronics, they look very advanced and very powerful. The sound bar is covered with this metal grill all over up, the up face, the front face, and on the side as well. We have a lot of screws to remove before to reach this point and we have a huge power supply so it's one of the most advanced sound bars that ha ha I have ever checked inside look here a detail that we discovered here you see the cover the Samsung has applied special elastics everywhere in order even on, on the outputs here in order when we close the cover this is the cover the sound bar to be isolated to have no air, uh, you know, uh, output from any random place and to be totally closed inside in order to perform better. So now we are taking a look of the subwoofer inside. This is the electronic board of the subwoofer. We see this is the class D amplification, EMS, M ESMT, probably it's 20 watts this one. We see the capacitors here of the power uh, for the class D amplification. We see this chipset from ESS. Okay, this board has to do with all the amplification and probably for a EQ as well and the wireless thing because it's wireless the subwoofer. And this is the power supply of the sub, the switching power supply which is very big for one driver. 
Εγώ είδα this special white glue here. Samsung has put this material here in order to reduce the vibration of the components. This is very good solution. And congratulations Samsung for doing that. The cabinet, MDF cabinet, very thick uh, wood. Inside we have this foam and then we see the driver, the magnet of the driver. So let's check the sub from other view. Paper cone, uh, huge magnet, huge uh, cabinet, port it. You see the port there. Special uh, braces inside for uh, stiffness. So it looks like a normal uh, subwoofer. It does not look like a subwoofer of a sound bar, but a subwoofer as a standalone unit. Look the cable. It's about time for the surround speaker. As you can see the driver here, look how good, how well made is this inverted dome here and the ring radiator around. The cabinet it is, has a special foam covered and on the top the Atmos it's like this. You see the same, the same uh, the driver but uh, with this angled uh, in order to hit the, our ceiling. So the, here there is another driver. I don't like to open this as well because uh, it needs a lot of work to do all this but just to have an idea about the drivers and this surround speaker. So the grill on the surround speaker is this one. It's metallic guys. It's very durable, very metallic. So Samsung has delivered a very nice set of uh, soundbar here with these around speakers are not a joke, they are not plastic. Uh, maybe the cabinet inside is plastic, but outside is very well treated with a metallic grill with this special foam, this with three drivers, with three drivers like this, and amplification, probably the same amplifications, probably the same amplification as the um, as a subwoofer and has a, also has a power supply inside so this is a system as is so the sound bar has a display around here like on you can see like that it's a few characters but it presents the most viable indications here so I open I open up the app Smart Things and the sound bar was already there. You see sound bar 299B. It's already there. So this is not a uh, this is not a proper setup, but just uh, I'm checking it the app to show to you guys how the app we download Smart Things and then we can choose from the app the input that we like, for example TV or whatever. Uh, HDMI from TV and then uh, we can have the volume control the sound mode sound mode uh, there are four sound modes on the sound bar standards standard surround game adaptive mode so you, you can set any one that you like then we have the woofer to adjust the volume of the woofer you know the level then we have auto EQ in order to auto calibrate the sound according to our room and then we have the um, space fit on here. This is enabled when the mic is on. So then we have the space fit all and off. Then we have active voice amplifier that uh, adjusts the volume, um, the level of the sound according to our noises inside our room. Then we have the advanced uh, audio settings like voice enhancement, bass enhancement or night mode. These are different mode, the two modes. It depends what we like to listen. So this is the app of the of the soundbar which is uh, which seems very good and we do firmware updates as well from here have notifications, we can control, but if we don't like the app, we can control of this using the remote control of our 
If we don't like all these uh, setups, we can use uh, the remote control of our TV in order to, you know, to control the volume of the, our audio systems. Thanks for watching, guys. That was a very good soundbar. I will shoot another video about the sound check of the soundbar. Thanks for watching.